What's up, Melon Squad? Everybody's talking about the Lil Wayne Super Bowl situation, so you know I had to put my little melons worth in there. So let's chop it up, gang. So, my first qualm is when did the Super Bowl city start to determine the Super Bowl halftime act? Because, as far as I know, aside from Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg, wasn't nobody else from their city in the Super Bowl. Like, even in that one, you had two New Yorkers. You had three, oh, because cause Kendrick was there too. So you had three Californians, two New Yorkers, and a Detroitian. Like, so I don't know how y'all got on this kick. Number two, it wouldn't it have made more sense for him to be in the, what was that, 2013 when Beyonce did it in New Orleans? Wouldn't it have been made more sense for him to do it back then? Because he was a, a lot more fire popping at that moment. Like, I ain't saying he ain't popping, but he had new stuff out on the radio and was still coming out with like stuff. He was, in my opinion, he was a little more relevant at that moment than he is in this moment. Right now, he's trying to live the GOAT moment, but he was, I mean, you know, they don't usually have to be popping because Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg or Eminem ain't had a hit when they did the Super Bowl. But still, it just seemed like to me, y'all would have had more of an uproar about it in the 13th. Number two, Lil Wayne is not healthy, okay? I don't know why y'all won't admit to this, some of y'all, just because you're a fan. Stop being a yes man type of friend or yes man type of fan. You have to learn how to tell your friends the truth sometimes when it hurts. I know we don't, we ain't all mean spirited. Some of us ain't mean spirited by nature, but sometimes you have to let your friends know what's going on. And I don't know who Wayne has around him because, you know, a lot of sometimes drug addicts, they tend to not listen to the people around them. They like, I got this. I'm going to do what I want. But Lil Wayne is not healthy, okay? You could look right at them struggle dreads he got in his head and, can, and very much tell that he's not healthy. The first sign of unhealthiness on your body is nails and hair and eyes, okay? He just looks so burnt. He looked like a little grilled frog. I just cannot like keep it real with the man. He don't look good. You can clearly tell that the lean is taking over. Okay. He leaning a little bit too much. It's like might be time to put the cup down or at least dilute it a little bit more. What's your Sprite to lean ratio? Okay. You might need to rework the ratio. Okay. If it's 25 to 75, let's take it down 1090. Wean yourself off. Instead of being wheezy, let's be weenie, okay? Wean yourself off of it. My third thing is, what's the man going to get up there and sing? What's he going to rap about? First of all, the Super Bowl is a family-friendly show, okay? I know we all love who we love, and we love our favorite rappers and our favorite people. But sometimes our favorite people are not family and friendly appropriate for national TV. Put it like this. Are y'all going to let Lil Wayne be played in a kindergarten classroom or a second grade classroom? Oh, now suddenly it just doesn't sound so appropriate, does it? But the Super Bowl has kindergartners and second graders watching it. Why you think they gave Janet so much hell? Justin should have got his, but he threw her under the bus quick. He First he laughed about it, then he threw her under the bus. He knew what he was doing. But they came down on her something terrible. She just getting her career back together from that little kerfuffle with her, little, with her boob and Justin Timberlake. So so it's he is not family friendly what's he gonna get up there talking about he gonna lick somebody like a lollipop somebody need to lick him like a lollipop what's he gonna do get up there and talk about lean or or wheezy fucking baby like come on man like y'all got to be all the way 100 with yourselves i you know i'm a little older my favorite rapper used to be scarface and devin the dude but let's be perfectly honest none of them can do the super bowl both of them have a, an amazing catalog that could be performed. They could do song after song. They could do two Super Bowl halftime shows. Is it appropriate? Absolutely not. Much as I love Devin, shout out to Devin the dude, and been loving him, what's he going to sing at the Super Bowl? He going to get on the stage and rap about smoking weed, drinking beers, and taking a shit? Like, come on, people. Just because you love a person doesn't mean that they they fit in every category that needs to be categorized, okay? they That's why file cabinets have different files. Because you have to put different things in different files. You don't just throw all the paperwork in the drawer and say, figure it out. And we just, yeah, we all, it's all one. All in one. No, it's not. Secondly, just like they say, we only make up 14% of America, Okay. 
So that's, let's say everybody in America was watching the Super Bowl. Only 14% of it is black. Do you really think them corn fed, corn plucked, hen plucked, hillbillies or them Midwestern corn plucked hillbillies want to hear Lil Wayne? Let's be all the way 100. Like we don't want to hear their little redneck bands that they going to play. Now don't get it twisted. Some of the redneck bands I like, I ain't even going to lie. But I like music. What can I do? But they don't want to hear that. That's just like I'm from D.C. Our thing is go-go. When I was younger, New Yorkers and Baltimore people could not stand go-go. Let me play some go-go and everybody face out until you take them to a live go-go. Then you got a fan. But I digress. But nobody, like, if I had a car full of people from Brooklyn, they don't want to hear Backyard and Junkyard playing in my stuff. Red Essence, they don't want to hear Chuck Brown. They want to hear Mob Deep or whatever, whoever from the BK. You dig what I'm saying? So it's not all about what you want and how you feel. If Lil Wayne really wanted to be taken seriously, he wouldn't have had that string of awful performances. He wouldn't have a reputation of not showing up on time or showing up at all. Because let's be all the way 100. This is your job, okay? I know y'all like to be, oh, I love it, so it don't feel like it. You may not feel like a job, but if it pays your bills, it's your job. And you have to be punctual, and you have to be professional. And the mo- the people who last the longest are the people that get that the quickest, okay? And it could be any job. You could be a bubblegum scraper. As long as you punctual and on time, you probably be the best bubblegum scraper in there. But if you the bubblegum scraper that like to come late or don't even show up to the jobs at all and somebody got to come scrape your bubblegum for it, you know you're going to be fired from the bubblegum scraping and you won't be a scraper anymore, okay? They're going to take your little platinum plaque with your little golden scraper and they're going to get rid of you. They don't care how many employee of the months you won back then this year. You was only employee of the month once. And then after that, you fell off and you fell off hard and you start coming to every job late. Like you can't have that rep. Like people pay their money and people, this is people's job. The lighting people, the sound people, all of them have a job to do centered around you. And when your stupid ass don't show up, now everybody's job is screwed. So you really think if you stand me up once, twice even, I'm going to give you a third time. The Super Bowl is not the stage for us to be figuring it out, okay? Whether we're going to be reliable or not. And if he really wanted to be taken seriously, then he shouldn't have that reputation. Put down the lean. Do you have to drink it before a show or the night before if you can't get your ass up to get and go perform and do your job? Put the cup down. All this double cup and shit. Maybe y'all need to single cup it. Or throw them joints away. Okay? But for real, for real, I heard the double cup was only because they didn't want it to heat up in their hand from the warmth of their, heat, the warmth of their hand, their body heat. They didn't want to heat up the stuff. They wanted the ice to last as long as, as it could. Thank God it wasn't no Yeti cups back then because they'd have been Yeti slash lean cups. Show you can come to the Super Bowl. Because when everybody says something about his WWE thing with... um. The Oos brother, which one is it? Jay or John? I can't remember which one. I think it was Jay. When when the Oos brother came out and he came out, and everybody was like, oh, Lil Wayne. I was like, this is what y'all call a performance. I don't care how short it was. If it's 10 seconds, I'm going to give you the best 10 seconds of my life. Okay? Everybody don't give a good show. Everybody can't fill up a show. And then let's talk about the friends. I heard Joe Budden and them taking up, not Joe per se, but the other ones was like, if he bring out people, then yes, he can do a 13 minute set because Joe was even asking like, can he do a 13 minute set by himself? They was like, no, he gonna bring out friends. But Lil Wayne said out his own mouth in an interview, and I'm not gonna put up the interview. You can go look it up yourself. But Lil Wayne said himself in the interview when they asked him about the Super Bowl when he when he let everybody know that he wanted to do it. I think it was this year, last year. He said, no disrespect to everybody that's coming up under me or affiliated to me, but this is my time to shine. If I get the Super Bowl, then it's going to be me. Basically, he's not sharing that stage. He said, this is my time. We're not going to make it about Drake. We're not going to make it about Nicki. And we're not going to make it about Baby. Because at the end of the day... I do understand why he did that because the three of them are attention whores and they probably try their damn best to try to do something to make the show about them and everybody talk about them. But that's what performers do. Lil Wayne said, we're not doing that. Not even going to bring y'all out. This is about me. This is my time to shine. This is the accolade I've been waiting to accomplish and I'm going to do it alone. And I ain't mad at him for it. But all y'all saying that that he going to bring out friends and that's what's going to make the set better. No, he's not. 
he said it right then and there. He's not going to bring anybody else out but himself. So do you seriously want to see Master Splinter, a.k.a. Lil Wayne, come out and just walk up and down the stage with his weird face and his weird teeth and his weird dreads? Like, I don't need that. I, I really don't need that. He ain't even healthy, Wayne. When I see old pictures of him from just a few years ago when he actually had all his dreads, and they were black and strong and his body looked healthy and muscular I, he is a skeleton of himself now he looks like um he looks like a before and after picture of himself and the before being the good picture and the after being the downslide so if wayne could stop crashing out on lean then maybe he could do a super bowl but this ain't the super bowl for you sweetie sorry let's just all stop being greasy congratulate kendrick lamar he had a wonderful year a wonderful song wonderful summer so let's let the man have a wonderful super bowl okay y'all tell me what y'all think in the comment section because it was just getting a little bit too much i just had to put my little piece in there but y'all tell me what y'all think and i will see y'all next time peace